Greetings, I'm Caffeine Rage, and once again, I'm back with... Gaming Psychologist. And I think we're going to be doing a building episode on uh, this one. That's right, we talked about it, and we are way behind on NPCs for the amount of time that we spent playing the game. So we're going to build uh, apartments, houses, condos, I don't know. Do you want to build uh, on the shacks? side? Uh, I think shanties. <laughs> Yeah, we uh, can uh, do basic housing and then make them pretty later. Well, eventually we're going to build our sky base, which I think we've talked about before. Yeah, we have. And uh, that's actually feasibly not too far off, but uh, realistically it's probably a little bit further off because of uh, some things we need for it. Right. Because I've been progressing on my single character, or single player character just to get a feel for where we should be going as a sort of a team. Yeah, you've definitely progressed a lot farther than I have. I mean, my single player character does have progression, but yours is more. Yeah, well, you haven't seen what he's done lately. He's completely redesigned his uh, primary workshop. Fancy. All right, uh, I'm going to build over here. We should each build our own apartment complex, or whatever, and then come make fun of the other persons. Yeah, I'm looking to see if we have any, uh... Oh, we have a few things in here that I could use. Yeah, we've got lots of standard blocks, and then there's some tables and chairs. Yeah, I was looking for the tables and chairs, and I don't really see that many. So I think I might have to build them. Something I've been thinking about, I haven't discussed it with you yet, is uh, episode length. Because it does feel like, you know, going the 20, 25 minute route is kind of short for this game, actually. Yeah. Um, most of our episodes tend to be closer to at least a half an hour. Yeah. Some with of that them one anomaly. Way longer than that. Well, that one time I wasn't watching the clock and then I looked over and I was like, 45 minutes? Yeah. Well, I mean, that is what we do, right? Super, super long content. Yeah. I blame the pod father. He's taught us to digress far too much. Blame Biff. Yes, what if you, do? you don't know what we're talking about, uh, go watch Kerbal Cast. Which I just realized I haven't disabled my Steam notifications, so there we go. I mean, it wouldn't uh, pop up with uh, team, or not Team Viewer, but with um, OBS. But the thing is that uh, the sound would still go off, and that would be annoying. Yeah, I just leave mine on. Every once in a while, I'll get a message or something while recording, but it's not very often. Well, I typically go completely offline. Got all dark. So how's things been going for you? Since this is probably going to be a boring episode otherwise. It's not going to be boring. It's going to be awesome. We're building stuff. Building stuff is awesome. But uh, to answer your question, things have been fine. Kids' birthday party was yesterday. That's... Uh, let's. We're gonna break the magic. We're recording this a day late. My kid turned two well, yesterday. Well, also, the, well, here's tired. the thing: is that we're recording a day late from what we normally do, but also we're recording a week and a half ahead of time, so it kind of bounces out. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But uh, yeah, things are good for me. I mean, not. I mean, not really all that much to talk about. Oh, actually, I've been playing a ton of um, Farpoint Gemini Warlords. It, I finally got it working. Definitely not my, not my fault, though. The game is not optimized at all. Oh, it is early access. 
it is early access and I give it some leeway because of that, but they are reusing the engine from Starpoint Gemini 2. They even said that they're reusing the engine. And not very many of the new gameplay mechanics are, uh, are implemented yet. So the game is mostly broken for reasons I can't understand. And granted, it could just be one of those things of game development that I just don't understand and I won't, but it just doesn't make sense to me. Like the game is 90, like 90% 90 the same. Yeah, if anyone's wondering where all the iron went, I'm looking in the chest and see 500 mining track. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure that there's no more doors before I build some doors. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. I picked up one door. Build a door. Actually, let's build a couple of doors. Or six. That works. And while I'm at it, might as well build the tables, but now I'm out of wood. Build a chair. Actually, you build a well, chair. Wow, well, I was over there. I could have done something else. Since we have a spare workbench that I saw in the very beginning of the episode. Oh, there it is. Take that with me. I guess you can use that for a table, can't you? Actually, I was going to use it as a workbench and a table. Multitasking? What is this nonsense? What's up with you? Uh, not a terrible amount. Just being, uh, getting videos all sorted the last day and a half. Oh yeah, that's something that I should talk about briefly. Um, so because of a combination of the fact that I'm really bad at it and the internet was all weird last week, it, uh, by the time you get here, it won't matter, but I am way In off theory. on Terraria. No, no, I've got, on it. actually at this point, I've got several videos set up to release in a row over the next few days, and I should be all caught back up. But at this moment... Everything's all all wonky on my channel. It's gonna be better though, I promise. Well, at least you're here to record. That's better than a lot of co-op partners I've had. <laughs> I wouldn't run off and leave you hanging. That would be rude. My uh, my therapy videos though, and my uh, Eve Explained videos have been doing well. My first Eve Explained video got like 50 views. Wow, nice. I was excited. I think this is going to be the video where we're just sitting around building and talking shop. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. We need one of those every once in a while. And I need some wall. Like some background. Yeah, I didn't see any in the chest. I could have missed it though. Oh, let's open up the crafting menu. Do I not have a hammer? I think a squirrel just uh, ate it because uh, a falling star landed on it. Nice. Bricks are not the back wall, are they? No. Uh, they turn into a back wall. There's one brick wall down there. Here we oh, go. Shit. There was wall. some platform here. Now, I'm making sure I didn't accidentally drop a hammer somewhere and I'm not seeing it. Now, that's annoying. What is? Yeah. Uh, don't see my hammer. I thought I built one. Is it hammer time? I'm gonna have to build a new hammer then. Whoops, I just accidentally which, dropped on my wall. Which means that the moment that I, uh, uh, 
you know, the moment I use it, I'm going to uh, find it. Well, I mean, that's how it works, right? Oh, shoot. I threw my wall again. Pick it up. I wish I could build stuff this fast in real life. <laughs> Especially when it's made out of stone. And even though we only need one, I'm going to place a couple more torches. I like things to be well lit. Table. And a chair. They know the chair, though. Out of wood, I think. I don't know. There's trees over here. Oh, look, a penguin. Uh oh. Run, penguin, run. I've got an axe. Oh, floating eyeball. And zombies. I wondered where you guys had been. Actually, My once we get past a certain threshold of NPCs, I forgot to bring this up. Uh, the. Uh, natural uh, enemy spawns will stop for the most part. Yeah, we haven't had any in a while. I was I meant to ask you actually why there were no zombies around. I guess though I've just gotten far enough away from our settlement that they're spawning. Although I'm not bothered. This isn't the beginning of the game. I've got a katana and really good armor and I'll just chop down the trees, get some wood, stab some zombies. Ouch. They heard me talk, talking smack. They came to get me. Hey, zombie. Alright, got some more wood. Now to make... Uh... I need another chair, table. Let's see. Oh, whoops. I built a workbench instead of a table, although it works. I will say that I like Warlords, going all the way back to that. Some of this is like podcast discussion, so I won't go too deep into it, but it's fun. I have enjoyed... You won't go my... too deep into it yet. Yet, yeah. Just for now, I have been enjoying my time with it when it's not broken. Oh, I'm so used to it. Doing things a certain way, and I keep screwing up my tools. <laughs> what do you mean you keep screwing up your tools? I have them on the wrong places on the hot bar to when I'm used to. Oh, okay. Can you build like la <clears throat> excuse me ladders or something that people can climb? Yeah, uh, kind of a rope. Will the NPCs actually use them? No. Yeah. Stupid NPCs. One exciting thing, actually, that happened is that uh, 
Katie tried to watch anime. Oh, uh, really? What did you subject her to? Um, Log Horizon. And she's going to, well, maybe watch One Punch Man with me and some friends of ours. <laughs> One we, Punch Man is a good entry. If the, if the person knows uh, uh, just uh, general superhero tropes. Yeah, we've got, so uh, I told you last night that we had some friends that stayed until like 9 o'clock. And we got into this discussion about anime. And it turns out that our um, our friend Ang uh, Angela, she like does not at all like seem like a person who would watch anime, but her husband loves it. And so she started watching it because of him. And it turns out she likes quite a bit of anime. And Katie was like, yeah, I guess if you'd like it, maybe I would like it too. Yeah, the thing with anime is that it's not a genre. It's a medium. Yeah, yeah. Katie and I had a, a pretty long conversation about that, actually. It's like someone saying that they don't like video games because they don't like World of Warcraft. Yeah. She didn't really like Log Horizon. Um, she's going to consider trying out some other stuff. The only problem is, is that the main problem she has with it is that she doesn't like having to watch it with subtitles. Uh, well, you can get dumped anime. It's just sometimes yeah. it's not that great. Uh, for probably the crown jewel, at least in my opinion, of dubbed anime is Cowboy Bebop. Ooh, Cowboy Bebop. That's a good one. Yeah, we were we were talking about it, and you know, she was like, "I don't like having to be like so like engrossed in a thing." Plus, she she wasn't a big fan of the art style in uh, Log Horizon, but I mean, there's a million different art styles out there. But not being able to, like, not wanting to watch it in Japanese with subtitles, like, I totally get that. That's a pretty, a pretty difficult one, because there's not as many dubbed anime. And there's no way near as many dubbed anime. But yeah, Cowboy Bebop's a good one. I didn't, hadn't even thought of Cowboy Bebop. I don't know, I'm going to try and find, like, uh, Especially if she likes life. jazz. Uh, uh. If she likes jazz, uh, Cowboy Bebop. If she likes hip-hop uh, hip or rap, uh, Samurai Champloo. What about country? Country, um... I don't think there... Uh, well, I shouldn't say uh, there isn't, but I don't think there is a uh, country anime. Well, I'm talking it... about country music. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm talking about. Is it platforms that can be turned into stairs? Yes. Uh, if you okay. want to see an example, I've actually I'm um, doing that over here. That's probably enough platforms. What's the fence for? What do you think so far? Oh, hey, that's nice. But what's this little bit of fence here for? Uh, because that's supposed to be a porch. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, yours looks nicer than mine. I have to go doctor mine up now. Plus, I could put a torch on it if I really want to. For, like, a porch light. Yeah, I've gotten you to the point where you're going back to fix things. <laughs> And I need to go get more wood. Well, I mean, I wasn't done working on my house anyways, but yeah, I, I need to make my house look prettier. Yeah, I'm trying to think of uh, uh, music anime. There's, well, she likes more pop music. Uh, since you did mention country, I'm not sure if that's the only type of music she likes or not. No, she likes all kinds of music. Um, uh, for more poppy light stuff, uh, if you want a slice of life anime, I would go K-On. K-On. I'm not sure I've heard of K-On. Uh, it's basically, uh, well, it's in the genre of cute girls doing cute things. Only, ah, okay. Uh, in, the, in this one, they're, they form a, uh, well, K-On is the light music club at their school. So... They occasionally do music. 
Uh, then, uh, for more, like, indie rock, there's Beck. Which actually has music in it. Beck? Is that what you said? Yeah, Beck. B-E-C-K. Okay. Or, it, you'll probably find it on Japanese title. I believe that they use the, uh, the, uh, band's name for both of them. Uh, it would be Mongolian Chop Squad, and no, I'm not making that up. Mongolian Chop Squad. That's an interesting name. Basically, it's making fun of uh, how... Uh, uh, sorry, I, was, I saw your uh, tombstone over here. It's making fun of how uh, some... Uh, Groups will come over to the states and just have an eccentric uh, name to their band to try to stand out. Right. Oh, it did have a lot more wood than I thought it did. I just stacked it wrong. Whoops. Well, it doesn't hurt to kill a few trees. Well, unless you're a member of Greenpeace. Now, where did the acorns go so I can plant a few more so they won't uh, hunt me down? I've got some acorns. My uh, never mind, I, I found them. Well, I, I just got some because I chopped down some trees. It was just, you know, finding them in the mess. Uh, but let's see. Another jazz anime is Kids on the Slope. Very, Kids very good music. Slope. Yeah, very good music in it. I would suggest, though, that the ending isn't exactly conclusive on it. If you do go watch it. Go uh, check out the last uh, chapter or two of the manga as well. Okay. Do you know any good detective anime? Um. Yeah, I know a couple. Uh, there's one that's essentially like Sherlock Holmes in high school. And no, I'm not making that up. Uh, of course he's in high school. Yeah, what? Uh, can someone answer me this one question? Is 99.9% .9 of all important uh, things in life in Japan happen in high school? They must. They must. Everything in anime is, is in a high school. <laughs> Maybe it's all of the animators wanted to be the cool kids in high school. Possibly. So they make yeah, I didn't think of that. All cool stuff happen in high school. Oh yeah, building. Okay, I need another table. Another chair. This house is right next to the duck pond, it seems. Alright, I so far have got three. I'm about to have four little... Yeah, apartments. my uh, building's gonna have be a... Uh, well, actually a five, eventually. And I'm out of wood again. Excellent. Go get some more wood. Using up all the natural resources today on Let's Play Terraria. Well, you know, it needs natural resources. Oh, well, obviously not my state. Oh, is it time for the political part of the show? <laughs> Need to plant some acorns. Do 
Get away, slime. Can't you see? I'm chopping down trees. Go. How much wood do you actually need to make a table and a chair? Uh, some. Some. Right. Well, I have some. But the question is, do you have enough? Do I have enough sums? No, it's not sums, it's some. That See, that's where you're going wrong with this. Ah, uh, I see. When saw London has fallen today. Oh, uh, you have? Yeah. Katie and I went so it's it. now in the, in, in the undersea? <laughs> I see what you did there. That was a decent movie. It had uh, Gerard Butler in it. Hunk of a man. Alright, let's craft a table and a chair. Chair. Table. On the plus side, uh, we should have plenty of player ho or NPC housing, I should say, uh, after this. Yep. I now have four houses. You know, I could probably could split this one down the middle and do five houses. There's no need to compete. Well, I'm not trying to compete. It's just this one big house for one single NPC to live in. Honestly, I could probably make the bottom one into three, but... Ooh, look, penguins. Yeah, I captured all those penguins with my net. Poor penguins. What'd they ever do to you? Um, existed. Yeah, well, there you go. All right, are there any more NPCs that we can have move in with us now, or are we just building the housing for when we trigger them? Uh, I think it's a bit of both, to be honest, because you need housing for them to trigger, but at the same time, some of them uh, aren't triggered until you have a certain number of NPCs in the world, and some of them you have to find. Right. Do we build more houses? Because if I built four and you built five, that's nine. Yeah, that would be plenty. I'm not quite Look done over there. I need to get a little bit more wood of a certain type. Oh, you use the chandelier. Fancy. Oh, I fell down and hurt myself. Well, I'm not kissing and making it better. I'm not falling for that one again. But I got a boo-boo. I want you to fix it. Make it better. I don't think there's anything else that I need. Houses are built. I got something called a zombie arm. Oh, that's a rare weapon drop. Oh. It does almost as much damage as my katana. Well, the thing is that uh, for weapons like that, uh, once you start comparing like that, it also has to come down to uh, weapon reach and uh, swing speed. Fast speed. Fast speed. The zombie arm has got better knockback. The katana has got better reach. The zombie arm has got better knockback. Also, the katana looks better. Do you want the zombie arm? I'm fine. Okay, I'm gonna sell it then. Whoops, I can't sell to you. But I can sell to you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to plant some acorns, but I'm getting harassed out here big time. Oh 
yeah, I guess I could plant some acorns. I need to do that. Pull out my magic staff. Whoops. Trying to kill a zombie with an acorn. I just planted it in the ground. The zombie or the acorn? The acorn. That's not gonna help. Well, I mean, not. it will, but uh, not uh, in killing the zombie. I just killed a penguin. That floating eyeball. So if we get more NPCs, will our kind of safe zone increase? Yeah. I think it was sort of like an aura from them. Oh, you're building a roof. Yeah. Why did you think I wanted to get a different type of wood? Fancy. I don't have a roof. You have more of a ziggurat. Are you just gonna fill it in? Yeah. Yeah, I maybe I'll I think I'll just split the top here and make two rooms here. Yeah, you could do that. And yes, I do have more of a ziggurat. What can I say? I didn't go to art school. I'll also have more experience building in this game. That's true. I can build some much better looking stuff in Minecraft. And I don't think I'm happy with how this looks, so I'm going to go back to the other wood. That's what she said. Alright, now I just need to build furnishings real, uh, uh, and I think I'm pretty much done. I just need to, well, that and fill in here. Nope, oh, falling star. That's interesting. The penguins kind of teleport up to the next level instead of walking up the stairs. Lazy little bastards. <laughs> Just teleporting everywhere. No respect. No respect for the laws of physics. I think this was a productive episode, even though we did pretty much nothing outside of building. I think it was productive, too. Alright, I'm gonna move these people over to my houses so that next time we spawn in, they'll be somewhere different. And quit blocking all of the chests and construction, or crafting things. since only one room of mine is actually finished. Speaking of which, it's time to get to the furnishing. 
And probably about time to start closing things out, don't you think? Probably. What's the cooking bot used for? Uh, cooking fish. Does it need to be next to all the other crafting materials? Not really. I mean, it's okay. nice to have it there just because, uh, it, you know, cooking fish should, you know, just have everything uh, right together. It's not exactly a necessity. I'll keep it close by, but I'm moving it because I have a heavy workbench in my inventory. I'm not sure if I made it or if I found it, but there we go. The, the cooking pot was in the way. Oh, wow. You can build statues? Oh, cool. yeah, you can build a lot of statues. Sounds like you're using all the mana uh, gems or mana. Well, I just I I picked up three falling stars while we were doing that, and I made uh, a mana gem, and I keep holding it up. I I click. How many stars it, do you have on the side? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have max mana. You want a star? Uh, yeah, because I only have four. Yeah, you've been uh, holding out on me. I guess. <laughs> Every time I pick one up and make it, I'm just like, well, I guess I'll just use it. Yeah, and I'm going to give you the ones I made. Well, I'm the one with the magic wand. Yeah, true. Yeah, but someday I'll get a magic item. What's a bunny? Die, bunny. All right. Well, while you do that... Yeah, go ahead and tell people where they can find you uh, while I decorate. I'll make this place fabulous. Fabulous. Well, you can find me on YouTube at Gaming Psychologist, where I have a smattering of gaming and psychology-related videos. Eventually. You can find me. No, there's a whole bunch of them there. <laughs> I'm still just me messing on... with you. Yeah. You're mean. Okay, though. I still love you. You can find me on Aww. Twitter at JMA4707. You can find me streaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jarthur4707. And you can find me on Video Game Logic with this grumpy old man right here. Get off my week, lawn! Every week on Fridays at noon. That's, that's not when we do it. That's just when you get to hear it. Where can they find you, Rage? Well, unfortunately, I don't Twitch stream, so you can't find me on Twitch. Well, you technically can, but it's more me being just snarky in people's chats. Or hanging out with me. True. But usually that's uh, when I'm actively on there and not, you know, they're not finding me, they're finding you. Well, maybe they, they, I mean, they know that you don't stream, so that's the closest they can get to finding you in a stream. Is with me. Yeah, I capitalize all of your stream time. <laughs> well, you I, want more of to come to me. Well, I do cause problems in uh, a lot of the Rocket Jockeys uh, chats now that I think about it. I'm surprised I'm not banned yet. Because they love your voice so much. Yeah, but it doesn't really help because they can't hear me whenever I'm uh, just uh, causing trouble in their chat. They probably just imagine, though. They imagine you being mean to them and they're like oh the rage oh they're into that sort of thing that's exactly how they say it too oh baby some more of that please <laughs> and but i you. am on youtube uh gaming uh, with caffeine rage where uh play Occasionally some good games. Oh, I'm coming off a really bad one, though. Oh, just... I got angry. <laughs> oh, maniacal uh, laughter, too. Uh, uh, just listening back to it, I realized how angry I got at the game. 
And it was one of those things like, oh, I didn't realize I was that mean. What game is it? Uh, the game that I got rather, well, I shouldn't even say angry. It was more just annoyed with it was a game called Stone Tales. Oh, okay. Wait, what did that game do to make you more mad? Uh, do you want me to talk about it here or uh, wait for the podcast? Because I am going to be talking about that one again. Oh, we should save it for the podcast, yeah. But I do look forward to hearing about... Yeah, let's just put it this way. It really pissed me off. <laughs> well, I look forward to it, hearing... It pissed me off details. so much that... Uh, the uh, Well, I will spoil the ending of it. Uh, kinda. I didn't even bother with my... Uh, with uh, recording the ending of it. And I just got out my stock footage of the Indian Head test card. Oh, okay. That bad, huh? Oh, that bad. Well, all right then. Yeah, I was not in a good mood, but if you want to hear me rant occasionally, outside of YouTube, I am on Twitter at Gaming with CR as well, where I often rant. <laughs> and occasionally I'm uh, post something uh, humorous as well. Occasionally. Yeah, very occasionally. I mean, you can't have it. Oh, you can't set the standards too high, right? Yeah, especially for you. Wow. Hey yeah. Hits that little zinger. That burn. Need some aloe for it. I am a horrible person. Yes, yes, you are. Uh, now I see why Katie wanted um, uh, my help with you. Yeah, she wanted you to save her from me. I'm an awful person. What, uh, should I prepare the recliner for her? <laughs> I'm not sure. She walked up and shook her head yes at me when I said I'm a horrible person. <laughs> you know, we always try to wrap up and then we talk for like 10 more minutes. Yeah, maybe we should just start the wrap up at the very beginning of the episode next time. <laughs> Welcome, and we're going to start wrapping up now. <laughs> yeah, but say bye-bye uh, so we could get the hell out of here. Okay. Bye-bye now. See you next time.